In this video, I'm going to show you how to create insanely realistic Gun Air artwork in Procreate. Hi everyone, my name is Hayes. I'm an artist and speed painter from Malaysia. So today, I'll show you how to create insanely realistic artwork in Procreate using a Gun AI generated artwork. So to start, you will need to have the Wombo Dream app installed and also the Procreate app installed. So let's get started. This text prompt was one of the most difficult things to generate in Wombo. Like literally every art generation that came out of this was bad. After trying many text prompts and art styles, I finally managed to get something that is good. So I used this text prompt and I generated a couple more. It's a common misunderstanding thinking that generating AI artworks are very simple but actually it takes quite a bit of finesse when it comes to the linguistic part of the process so we kind of actually have to train the AI to do what we want it to do. So here I am testing several poses on the artwork and see which one works better before I proceed to posing them in 3D. And this is what I get after I pose the model and place some of the props onto her which is the dress and also the water pitcher. So now I'm using the liquify tool to fix some of the deformations on her body because of the posing itself. So the paint weight on this rig wasn't really good so I am trying to fix this in Procreate right now. So right now I'm in automatic selection and I'm going to try and select the dress. So it's basically selecting based on similar contrast and similar colors. So it takes a bit of practice to select the dress only without selecting the hands. But if I want to do any edits, I can just switch to the freehand selection to manually edit the selection itself. And once I'm done, I always remember to save it into the save and load section so that I can access this selection anytime I want to. So using this selection, I'm going to recolor the entire dress because if you see the Gun AI artwork, it's a bit more yellowish and creamier. So my dress is kind of white and cold in temperature. So I'm trying to change it to that color instead. Right now, I'm using the Hue, Saturation and Brightness tool to change the color. I've talked about different methods of changing colors and this method is not working very well for me right now. So I am going to use the tool called Gradient Map instead and I'm going to pick the color that is closest to the Gun AI Artworks dress color which is something like a gold creamy color and then I can edit this Gradient Map itself. So if you'd like to learn more about this technique, you can always watch my other uh, Gun Art work paint over videos so now I have one dress that is in a creamy red color and I'm just going to duplicate the original dress again and recolor this to be a bit more gold instead then we will merge these two dresses together so if you look here carefully in my layers section, I have the creamy red one and I have the gold one and I have the original one. So now I'm going to erase some of the um, creamy red ones away, some parts of it so that um, the gold is showing through the terminator zone so that it looks like it's glowing a little bit. And if you see here, it's quite subtle so we don't want to go overboard with this step. I can also always fine tune this using the layers opacity as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get her original body and I'm going to apply a mask here and I'm going to use this mask to invert it and I'm going to paint white over it so that bits and pieces of her skin is showing through which will actually give the effect that the dress is quite sheer but I want this to be very subtle because um, there shouldn't be any nudity involved at all so therefore I'm targeting areas where the skin is very close to the fabric like the knees and the chest itself so these areas should be a lot more transparent then after that, I am going to adjust her features to be more prominent, especially her lashes because it's quite pixelated. So I'm going to adjust all these and then now I'm going to get a new layer and set it to color. So this means that anything I paint here would just color the layers below it. So that means I've colored the lips already and now I'm duplicating the whole figure and setting it to multiply which means it will be darker. And now I'm just actually just erasing parts of the layer 
to form her lips because her lips is actually darker so and I say erasing because I'm actually using a mask so mask is essentially an eraser layer where you can just undo if you want to so black means it's erased and white means it's showing so the only parts that are showing right now is of course the lips so I like to use mask very often in my art creation projects because it's a great way to undo if you want to erase or show anything for that particular layer. So once the figure is ready for adoption into the artwork itself, I am going to prepare the gun artwork now, which means I need to form the gun artwork elements around the figure that we already have just now. So I have here my sketch of the figure already, and we're going to form the entire gun artwork using liquify. So this is where things get complicated because I will actually copy and paste elements from different gun artworks and also within this artwork itself to the uh, composition and see if I can make sense of what I have. So here I am recolouring another piece of gun AI artwork to form the water later on when it pours out of the picture. And after recolouring, I can erase um, pieces of it away to reveal the original colours underneath because if it's all just flat one gradient all over the water, it's not going to look very natural. So here I can actually merge some of the goals behind it back into the blues. Okay, so now all the elements are ready, the figure is ready, the gun artwork is ready and all we have to do is to integrate them together. So I am going to apply a mask to the figure again and of course I invert it black which means that nothing is showing right now. So all I have to do is paint white to make the figure show again. So this is the most difficult part of the process because you actually have to decide what shows and what you don't want to show like which parts that you want to keep from the figure and which parts do you want to delete from the gun AI artwork because both of them are so good so you are basically deciding what to destroy and remove. And the cool thing about this process is when you're working, the ongoing process already looks like a piece of artwork. So it's not an issue of whether it looks good or not, but um, a matter of what direction that you want to push the artworks towards. So right now I'm just going to darken these feet so that they match the values that they are in right now because at the bottom they should be in parts of the shadows and it should be a lot, lot, lot darker than this. So for the longest time, I couldn't um, decide on what to call this method of artwork and what genre it is because I was saying that it was AI and human collaboration and it can also be a AI paint over or repainting but right now I feel that it's more of a collage of AI elements into a new piece as directed by the artist. Then there was also a commenter saying that this is a form of kit bashing which is actually like combining different elements to create something new entirely. And by the way, you can mint this artwork at mint.hazelong.com or the NFTs are out for minting already. And since I have started this project, I realized that I have some unexpected challenges because there are some collectors who have collected NFTs before but not collected art before and then there are those that have collected art before but not NFTs before so both of them comes with different challenges like those that usually collect NFT they wouldn't understand why I'm selling them in multiple editions of 10 and they think that 10 is a lot but 10 is already a very very limited amount of editions when it comes to artwork editions then those that have collected artwork they do not know or aren't familiar with minting and also how does NFT works in general so yeah Anyway, the biggest challenge that I have in creating the artwork this way is matching the resolution of both the Gantt AI artwork and the 3D render. Because the Gantt AI artwork is generated, the resolution is definitely lower than any 3D renders that I put in. So I have to kind of make sure that I'm upscaling the resolution for the Gun AI artwork and also trying to reduce resolution for the 3D artwork. 
So one of the most important thing in this process is that after I've placed in all the elements I wanted to place in and try, change all the colors, fix all the lighting, then I will start a simplification process which is a reduction of elements for the entire artwork. So this will actually simplify the message and um, focus the attention to what I want people to focus their attention on. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end for this video. Remember, you can always just mint this artwork at mint.hazelong.com. Thank you so much for supporting me and leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye!